<laughs> right, you'll have to forgive me. Uh, it's my first time doing a Nintendo Switch stream, so I'm going to try my best on this. Hopefully I've set it up properly. Like the gameplay and stuff is all delayed and messed up, so I'm having to fix that. I'm literally watching myself right now on stream. Okay. Let's put. Um, I've just thought of it. No, I haven't. No, I haven't. I'm fine. So I can read chat on my phone, which is fine. And that seems to be going well actually. Let me try some gameplay. So I'm going to press uh, ZR now. And hopefully that should change on my stream. If it does it on stream, should be perfectly fine. Gameplay audio I haven't thought about actually. I'm watching now. Just give me a sec. Okay. Oh, thank God. That looks good. Okay. And it, I heard audio, so I don't have audio, but I think that should be okay. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to leave that there, and what I can actually do is unplug this. Okay, <laughs> I realised unplugging that means I don't have um, I don't have a mic. So, what's my alternative here? I would like to play with audio. Um, I don't have any normal earphones. What other mics do I have that can plug into that? What this one? I reckon this would be quite good. It would go in as well. Unplug that. Give me a second. So this should be... Alright, well... I don't know how this is going to sound. But hopefully it's not too bad. Let me see. <laughs> oh, wow! Yeah, do you know what? It's not actually that bad. You can hear a bit of a... Uh, you can hear a bit of white noise stuff. That's about it. You know what, that's not going to stay there. Like, give me a second. Give me a second, guys. Take this off. Look at that. Into... There. Oh. And that should be okay. Make sure it's on properly. Right. Is this okay? Can this work? I think, I think that might have done the trick. Gameplay? Oh, it's beautiful. I've got sound. I'm just going to see if the stream has... Um, just watching the stream. <gasps> it is perfect. I'm so proud of myself for that. Okay, so chat's on my phone and it's a lot of setup, 
but this is so much better. Right, let me go to where I need to be and I will start the stream. That is incredible. I cannot believe I have managed that. I don't need this up. Uh, so you guys have audio, I think. Better check that actually. Uh, so you guys have audio, I think. Better check that actually. Oh, yeah, I might want to leave that on so I can uh, re-chat. That seems perfectly fine to me. There we go. Alright. And, well, everything's as perfect as I can get it, I believe. Um, do you know what? One thing... No. I plug that back in. I think the audio might be fine if I just speak at like a nice tempo. Uh, I can fix it next time. It doesn't seem that bad though. I sound quite clear. Right, so uh, let me sleep so it's daytime. We can get a fresh start really quickly. Uh, I could use a rest until morning, please. Right, I'm excited for this. This is my first Pokemon uh, Arceus live stream. And I've decided to do this today because I can get uh, you guys in live. Um, the syncing is horrible by the way to syncing editing for that first episode so my face cam's already on it so that's much better um, so there's that going and what else there was other reasons it was just so much it worked out so much better for some reason oh you can watch the live stream back as a whole or you can watch the edited episode and then there's going to be shorter versions of each uh, episode release so there's going to be like a variation to suit like everyone pretty much that's going to be out so if you want to watch a full like in the live streams I can basically grind, in the videos I can basically edit them so they're uh, still long but got all the story and stuff and then I'm going to make a shorter version, it's going to be like free variants. If you want to watch any of the live streams back, uh, you won't see them on the channel because I've sussed a way to clean it all out. It's going as unlisted but if you go on the playlist and go on live streams it should be on there. Uh, all my live streams on there, it's just to clean up the channel, it's same with the shorts there on there as well. But yeah, we got an, a Pokemon Legends of Arceus live stream going on now, we're on the second episode, I think we're finally ready to get into it, everything looked fine and well uh, on the live stream, so that's good. And um, I'm not going to waste any more time, so, uh, big news, I apparently have a rival now to go against, my friend uh, decided to get this game, he does not live stream it so he'll have more time to play it, that's not an excuse, we're going to beat him anyway, we got, we got this, we got, we're got. going to win, uh, so when I've finally played through the game, uh, and I've completed it, that is when we're going to have a final episode which is going to be me and him battling, and whoever wins, well, whoever wins just wins, isn't it? it's, just, it's just a good bit of fun with your friend, and uh, right, another thing I wanted to do at the start of this episode, I have been smashing out the Pokedex, because I cannot move on until I'm recording these videos, because it's story driven obviously, I want to make the episodes based on the story, so I've not moved on um, at all. So I've just been smashing out the Pokedex. As you can see, I've done quite a lot of them. Uh, still haven't finished it. Absolute grind to do, I'm not going to lie. It's the, it's the evolved ones. Like I can't kill anything that's high level because I can't move out of this area. And they just don't spawn. They just don't exist. So straight up. Uh, I'll try to do them over time, obviously. So I can, it's something to work on while I'm not recording or streaming or something like that. But yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. And the last thing before we move on. We can finally evolve this bad boy. Honestly, saved it until uh, I was on recording it. I didn't want to evolve him off camera, but he, uh, he evolves around level 17, I believe. So he's level 20 now. Uh, he's going to be a beefy boy. So let's let's do that right now. Let's evolve him into Quilava. Let's get that out of the way. Let's see. I saved this guy just for footage, just so you guys can see it. Here we go. Look how cool he looks. Here we go. Oh, look at that menacing. Absolute menace to say. He looks like he kind of looks like a pastry sausage. I don't even know what one of them is. So, see, so you're trying to perfect every dex entry. You don't need to do that to get the full dex entry. I don't need to do what? Uh, play, like. Do you mean I don't need to, like, capture all the Pokemon stuff? I hope not. Like, that, that would be annoying. Uh, number you've evolved. There we go. So, we got that one done. Uh. I've been basically doing the decks off stream and then the story driven stuff on stream I'm going to do and obviously upload it as a separate video edited. Uh, we've ready to move on, we've got, we can move on to the story stuff now. So down here we have a quest, so let's get into it, let's go do this, let's go get this out of the way. A um, few Bidoofs, battered a few of these off camera, bad a few of everything around here to be perfectly honest. Starlies, everything, everything around, I'm a menace around these parts now. Me and Quilava just beating them all up. 
Let's get this, uh, might as well get this tree while I'm here. And literally, I've been picking up every little thing I can find as well. Just so I can craft, like, everything. The amount of Pokeballs I've gone through um, off camera is insane. I think I've got loads now, actually, on me. Yeah, 102. <laughs> that is a, that's a Munchlax. I see him. I see the Munchlax. Right, let's carry on. Go away, Shinx. Be busy. You gonna let me past? Ah. Oh. Got to talk to a crusty galaxy member. On your decks, there's a bunch of challenges. You don't need to complete all of them to complete the next entry for that Pokemon. Oh, what? You don't need to complete all of them? Can I just do like one of each or? Oh, that's, that'd make my life 10 times easier if I don't have to do everything. I've been doing everything. There are many strong Pokemon to make their, uh, there are many strong Pokemon that make their home on the other side of this bridge. I can't let you pass unless you're a first. Oh, at your rank, you should be fine. Go on then. Don't waste my time then. Don't let your guard down now. Retreat for safety, you find yourself in trouble. Nah, I got this. I'm, I'm pro. Do you know what I am? <laughs> let's see what we got right it's got a carry I think her name is oh I can't believe I got that a carry over here I want that munchlax can I rob the Pokemon mate this is Sam <laughs> my my a new face in the village not that it matters to me if you're new if you're if you're here I assume you're prepared to be of help of course I'm really all the way who are you <laughs> May. I am one of the wardens of the diamond clan you may call me May. I suppose you might not even know what a uh, a warden is if you're new to history. I know what a warden is, I've played enough Mob of the Dead. <laughs> but such a talk can wait. Right now I'd rather we get straight to the point. I've got a problem that I need help solving, so the more important question is... Do you feel confident you can lead your Pokemon battle? Absolutely, we're going to batter Munchlax. Now you need to complete 10, if there are a red box next to them they count as a 2 dex points. Oh, alright. Sick, I'll, I'll remember that, I don't have to do it all. <laughs> That's even better. <laughs> Grinding it out for nothing. That's cute because I'm your son. He wasn't up to the task. This here is my partner, Munchlax. We rest together like siblings. I'm about to batter your sibling. He battles at my side by choice without needing any silly little balls I use. Watch and learn. Oh, oh! Believe me, I wouldn't keep mine in a ball if bloody game freak let us walk around with them. I just can't be bothered. They'll probably add it as paid DLC later, just so I can walk around with my bleeding Quilava. Oh, the battle music is epic. Oh, Munchlax, I'm so sorry. I, I went a bit overboard with the leveling. You can have a flame wheel. Don't approach me. Bang! Oh, no, it did nothing. Go on, burn him. Of course, it'd be super effective, but he did nish. Nish! <laughs> uh, what are we hitting him with? Uh, we'll just hit him with another flame wheel. Play it safe. Ember will kill him if a uh, flame wheel doesn't. I'll burn, sorry. Yeah, spat on. Your bloody sibling's dead. Let me go pick up this medicine leaf for him. <laughs> If you get the next entry level 10, it doubles the shiny chance you be perfect by complete all the challenge and doubles it again. Ooh, I might as well just do everything. I might as well just do that. You really aren't one of the usual galaxy buffoons if you could defeat my partner. Oh, literally, uh, none of the adults in the galaxy team can capture more than one Pokemon or so. The first try you put me on is capture three and I did it and I'm still star rank one. I should be like in charge of the whole galaxy team at this point. Well, fought Munchlax. Not at all. You did dog, dog crap. I'll take out the Pokemon that battles for us. Damn right you will. Challenge me to a battle and let my uh, Pokemon sustain injury. And I'll let you have these. You may, uh, you people all kinds of things with your crafting, don't you? These should prove to be useful materials. I make myself stuff, not making anyone else stuff. <laughs> Vivi chokes. You and your Pokemon fought well together. You practically acted as one with them. Rather like the legendary hero of all the one we tell stories of to our children. I am, I am pretty legendary. I am pretty awesome. <laughs> I think you're indeed the one for the job. You see, I need something to deal with an alpha Pokemon causing trouble up on deer track heights. It is large, fierce and fur, like any alpha, but you'll come, won't you? To deer track heights? Oh. <laughs> Pardon me, it's my uh, iPhone 21. Uh, your arc phone is beeping. That thing you have, it's showing you where you have to go, isn't it? Yeah, deer, height, deer track heights. My, my, that's some curious sort of map. Is that one of those galaxy team inventions I keep hearing about? Certainly does seem to show the way to the air track heights up ahead of us. I'll leave this in your hands, you'll do great there, I know it. Oh, let's go beat some alpha Pokemon ass. Seems you're quite the asset to the survey car, new one. By the way, why is your cam so small? Uh, honestly, I thought this was pretty, uh, like a pretty nice size, to be perfectly honest. I think I get what you mean. I might... I think I can enlarge it and crop it down, but I, I have a really naff face cam, but... I didn't want it to take too much of the screen up. Before we continue, I must ask, do you already know about the almighty Sinnoh? Uh, yeah, of course, I know about Sinnoh. I was in Sinnoh before you was in Sinnoh. <laughs> I know the future of Sinnoh. You want Chinese? No, I'll make some at myself. You want Chinese? No. 
I don't want crap food. I want some actual nutrients in my body. No, I'm live streaming, so. Right, just just help yourself to my room. Yeah, it's fine. Just. Almighty sin of steers all tight, said to have created the very universe, its power over time flow, and the stand of history is born in the process. Yeah, very long stream. Huh? Yeah, very long stream. Cheers. Close door, please. Bye. Bye. Honestly, rude. It's my grace from Almighty Sinner that Pokemon can live and thrive here. We have the Diamond Clan, the descendants of people who crossed the sea and settled here in the history region to venerate Almighty Sinner. However, it stole away from the world long ago, hiding itself from our sight. Almighty Sinner has only been. Hang on, can I just. It's why some Pokemon games just say no to Chinese. Uh, oh, honestly, I have takeaway like every day, and I think it's like taking a toll on my body. I genuinely need to find some like genuine food to eat because I'm not getting anything out of the unhealthy food. I've had that; like, it's so bad. I might say that has only been uh, really been seen by any human. Still, tales are to be trusted. Saying Pokemon has these long story dialogues sometimes here that are just. Oh yeah, we get it, the land's ancient, it was born from god knows what, uh, but yeah, we, we get it. But there are still Pokemon here today in history of a connection to Almighty Sinnoh, and it's the duty of Warden like myself to attend to their needs, but yet you still can't capture more than five Pokemon. Terrible Warden. The Pokemon that graces the Attract Heights is one of those honoured few. It was directly descended from a Pokemon that was blessed with Almighty Sinnoh's protection. I am that blessing, I fall for the sky, survive, I'm gonna, I'm gonna rain hell over all the Pokemon here. Follow me and you may understand. Where's she gone? She vanished. Alright, we unlocked the new part. God, there is so much dialogue on this game, but I feel like it's important to know what we're doing and understand the story. Can you not? Stay there, I need to capture you for the Pokedex. Oh, shit. Uh, is there a berry tree around here? I thought I saw one of them, no? No, oh, yeah, it's right there, right in front of my eyes. Just another Starly, don't really need to get any more of them. So Cricketunes, yeah these things, let's see what they need for Pokedex. Uh, so to catch 25 of them as usual, numbers you caught without being spotted, oh, being, without being spotted is such a like pain. Numbers defeated, that's easy, I can just burn them all. Times you're giving it food, number different forms you've obtained, number you've evolved, what do you mean different forms? Oh there's the other Cricket uh, colour in there. Let's throw, I've got loads of these. Go get distracted by that so I can capture you without being spotted even though you've already seen me. Yeah, smell it. Oh wow. Sodgy then, I'll have it back. <laughs> oh, we've got another one there. I'm not going to spend too much time catching these because I can do this off camera, but I will do a little bit while it's here. And then we'll progress with the story a little more. Go on, take the bait. Take it. Yeah. Bang! Captured. I'm not even kidding, this game should have a DLC where you have a white van. <laughs> Which are kidnapping all the Pokemon while, they not look, while they're not looking. Number one. I'm going to kill this one actually. I'm get, get an early start on killing them. Never mind, I will. <laughs> uh, let's. There's nothing else around here. Let's progress. Side quests I'll leave till later on in the game. I know, they're, I know they can be impactful and helpful, but I'm just going to go without doing them. Geodude. Oh, he spotted me. Well, let's see what your Pokedex entry says. Number caught. Heavy specimens caught. Number defeated. Times you've seen it use roll out. Oh, okay. You've seen it leap out of ore deposits. Number you've evolved. Any water Pokemon. Oh, did not me throw that. Not on me, but I'm pretty sure I have Buizel. I should have taken a Buizel with me. Alright, come on then. See if I can kill or capture it. I think I want to capture the first one. Oh yes, none of them do anything. Lovely. We'll do um, we'll do a strong style, take some damage, and throw a Pokeball, and hope it catches him. Okay, maybe strong style was not the move. Well, fire Pokemon at all against Yodu was probably not the move. Come on, we'll just we'll risk a ball. I've got revives and potions anyway. It's not in that world. Go on. Oh, yes! That is beautiful. Love it. Uh, let's get the uh, game healed up. Oh, I only had one revive. It's fine. Just remember that. I think I can craft some more, maybe? Where's my crafting thing? There it is. Can I craft more revives? 
Craft more balls, revives. There we go. Just get some um, smashed in. Let's see. So, ooh, can I capture these discreetly? Let's throw one of them out. See if they get distracted by that. I know some prefer certain berries, but I haven't really tested it yet. Right, well, the other one spotted me, so I'm just, <laughs> just gonna run away from it. I captured your friend! Ha! So long, sucker! <laughs> Ooh. Love some of that while I'm here. Black tumblestone. You can make heavy balls with them, right? I'm glad the Starlies went away. I did not want to start trouble with all of these. Alright, there's a Geo doing that thing to my right, which could help towards the Pokedex, which I'll do in a minute. I'm going to see if I can capture this one first. Go on, take the bait. Nice. That should be a capture, hopefully. I don't know how to open that chart up. I want to kind of see uh, what's. I don't know what rocks weak to. I play Pokemon so much in my life, and I just don't know. Actually, I don't actually know. I know it's weak to water. I don't have any water on me. I, I want to know if it's weak to anything else. We'll try. Definitely not electric, because Pikachu gets absolutely done over by Onyx. It's not going to be normal type. I, I try Drifloon, I guess. Oh, to be fair, I could always run away. I only need to spot it. What if it still counts towards my uh, Dex entry? Right, these are not bad, are they? I need to use Hypnosis for uh, Drifloon's uh, Pokedex anyway. But yeah, at least they're not weak. Okay. That's, uh, that's not what I expected. Try it one more time, I don't really care if it dies. There we go. I just need to see this use Hypnosis a few times. No, you're drowsy. No more tackling. Go to sleep. Oh no, definitely not that. Don't use roll out, just sleep. Not gonna eat me. I don't think you'd let me use it again anyway, I've already put it to sleep. Hypnosis. Yeah, I don't think I can use it again if I've already used it. I just want to finish my decks, but I don't want to use it once per fight. Let's try Astonish. <laughs> oh god, it does nothing. Let's just run. Let's just, let's just run. I'll check my decks, see if it still counts. Yep, see you, dude. Thanks for the uh, Pokedex entry if it worked. So we did a bit on Drifloon there. Let's have a quick look at that. Uh, time you've seen it use a hypnosis. I think I tried using it three times, so it only works if it actually, like, it only counts if it works. Then we've evolved, I only need one evolve, so that shouldn't take too long. Ghost type moves. I believe the move it's got, I think Astonish is a ghost type move. Give me a quick look at that. Do you have. A ghost type move. Nope. Is it, yeah, I think it is. Yes. So I'm going to try to get some kills with that later on. Finish that up. Let's heal you up because we, we want you alive then. Definitely didn't need to use that then. Not twice anyway. Uh, oh yeah, and the Geodude real quick. Because uh, I've run away from it, I'm just going to quickly check if it counted. Maybe you've seen Leap Out Yep, that counts. Good. So we can just uh, spawn them in and run away from them. Don't even have to fight them really. I should definitely get a Weasel with a, a water type move. We can kill him faster using that. Right, this should be where the Alpha Pokemon is. Come here. Give us, give us a sauce. What's going on? Give us a tea. Tell us what's going on. Oh, you've seen Professor decided to join us. Oh, so even your Professor designers join us. <laughs> they couldn't <can> run. <laughs> Whew, thank goodness I got you in time. I spoke my researcher, I could hardly miss out on a chance to observe an alpha now, could I? I suppose that is your business. Fine, as long as you'll stay out of the way. Right, see, see where this alpha. There's nothing there. This is Deer Track Heights. This is where I've uh, long come to pay tribute to our special Pokemon. A Pokemon descended from one of the ancients blessed by Almighty Sinnoh. The Lily Whoop! <laughs> That's not it. Oh, it's a Kukachu. That's only a troublemaker. Here's a disturbing piece of this racket. Oh, you are dying. To one ember move and it's all over for you. And that's what you're here for, Sam. To drive the interlooper from this place. Interloper, sorry. I'm sure your Pokemon are ready for the battle. Thank you for the heal. Put my word with... Uh, what a large specimen. No wonder Alpha Pokemon are feared across the land if they are all over side of this one. Exactly, they're not the only big though. They are strong and may know uh, moves that others of their kind do not. They're not to be trifled with, let me tell you nevertheless. 
I believe you're stronger than this alpha, so go show it that, beyond any mistaking. Be careful Sam, size is a potent weapon and in of itself. No doubt this alpha is a powerful and hardy foe. If you must face it, make sure your opponent has some strong moves at their disposal. Oh, he is, he is finished. He's getting incinerated, don't even worry about it. Uh, battle off the Pokemon because triple on the attract. Let's go! Yeah! How did I miss the. Sure, that works as well. <laughs> just, just have it sat behind him. Oh, I'm so sorry, Kukachoon. You are not surviving long. Go on, Quillava. Show me his boss. My button, yeah, I already know that. That should be fine. Let's go with Wild Might. Level 12? Can I capture it? Should see if I can capture it. Oh no, yeah, I can try capture it. I might try capture it then instead. First ball, look, nope. Right, I don't want to kill it, but I feel like M I can use an agile style move. Hopefully that will kill it. Do risk agile, it's level 12. Don't kill it, don't kill it. Don't kill it. Come on, do not be so overpowered for once. Oh, okay, okay, we can use one more of that. One more agile style move. Uh, and then we'll throw some balls at it. And we'll try capture the alpha Krikatoon. I don't know what the difference is between owning an alpha and a normal version, but... It's an alpha, so I'm guessing it's got to have some benefits. Okay, he spat on my Quillava. You're lucky I want to capture you. That's the only reason Quillava died. Well, we'll send out Starly. No one cares about Starly. Go on, throw away Pokemon. Just survive until I capture it now, okay? <laughs> Go! Here we go. Now it should be weak, so it should be a bit easier to capture now. Maybe not. It's gonna, it's gonna put up a bit of a fight, isn't it? Ooh, nice one. Stanley didn't die. He didn't get one tapped. Thought he would, to be honest. Come on. Can this even be caught? Am I just, or is it just tricking me? I don't even know if this can be caught, I'm just throwing balls at it because it's letting me. Starly, come on Starly. If I get close to losing, like, really bad there, I'm just going to end up killing it because uh, I don't really want to risk, risk it. I don't think the game lets you. Yeah, I just think, like, it's, I think it's just murdering my Pokemon. <laughs> I'll try until I get close, uh, then I'll kill it. <laughs> I don't get why it's letting me throw the ball though. Oh! Oh, you can catch it! Yes! We got an alpha! That's sick! That's amazing. Okay, unless you capture the uh, alpha that you're supposed to fight. That is amazing. You really are impressing one, aren't you? Yes, of course. I caught some of that I didn't think I could catch. <laughs> Seen some invest an alpha like that? Truly reminds a legendary hero of old. We'd best to make sure your Pokemon are taken care of after facing off against such a foe. Oh, thank you. Saves me after having to use revives and stuff. What is that? Oh, we are. <laughs> what in the world? Hey! I've forgotten its name. <laughs> weird here? The great weird here? Yeah. Look at it in all its glory. Oh, hello. It's a bit close. No cause any trouble now. Just had me a uh, Quillava healed. <laughs> he looks upon you with kindness, Sam. Ooh. Getting nervous. That's it. Grace is moving his presence and walks away. I said the great weirdo has taken a liking to the you. That is fortunate. Well, he just stared at me. Is that it? He's an esteemed Pokemon that can dash across the expanse of Hisuo or bear any human on his back. A human he deems worthy, at least. He's a blessing to us all. I mean, I've just cap captured a cricket tune. He could give me a lift home. That'd be quite nice. Excuse me. Remarkable. Try outstanding stuff. Truly outstanding stuff. A Pokemon letting someone ride on it? Well, it's just like the ride Pokemon of Alola. First to eleven, then. Sam. She's coming to take all the glory now. She's done nothing. She's come Captain Selene sent me. He said that when Sam carried out this request, we would be able to set up a base camp. What about that? I know this was a joint decision by Edelman and the commander, but still, it is truly fine for certain more base camps like this. The history of the region is a land created by Almighty Sino for the sake of its Pokemon. As long as your goal is to coexist and thrive together with the Pokemon, then I imagine you should also be allowed to use this land. 
The great weird here is taking a like to them as well. This is a good sign. Talking about me like I'm not even there. <laughs> you have my thanks for what you did today. Our clan leader will hear of you, Eddie does. I'll come to show my appreciation with a proper reward as soon as I can. Let's go. Like some Pokeballs or something, please. Like some, some healables, some revives, maybe. You know, would be quite nice. I want to see, uh, I want to get that Cricket Tune out, see if it's any different to like earning normal ones. If you want to coexist with five Pokemon, we need to stop fearing them and start getting to know them better. That starts with completing the Pokedex. That's what I've been doing, I've been grinding that thing out. Anyway, we should be able to have that base camp set up once the construction corpse arrives. So many corpse. Corps. Corps. Right, we got whoa, some banging tents set up. Careful now, don't want to disrupt the nature too much with them uh, two tents and a lantern. A bit of fire. Here we have our new base camp up on Dave Track Heights. I'll call it the Height Camp. From now on, you set out from the village, you can ask to be escorted to this base camp to start your excursion directly from here. <coughs> Having another base camp to start from will be a great help on our survey. Do you mean on the Pokedex I have to work on? Nice work today, everyone. What should we uh, what say we all head back to Wallflower? Wow! <laughs> oh my god, look how long I spent capturing stuff for this Pokedex. Oh wow. Okay, so we got an alpha, it's got a little symbol there at the end, right? I can't wait to uh, get that and test it. 19,000. <laughs> Just 37 Pokemon I caught off camera. I think there might be some on camera, but damn. Alright, we got a lot of this done. Oh yeah, so when it says complete... Ah, oh, okay, so as long as it says complete, it's fine. Okay, that's much better to know. Yeah, so you just do 10. Okay, I get you. I get you now. That's brilliant. Oh wow, I'm going up like 6 ranks at this point. <laughs> I got so much done. <clears throat> Benny old chum, the usual potato, I don't know, I'm just going to call it potato meal. Please, I'm making it for free today as well. His green moustache and hair, what's going on? It looks nice. Have you all heard the grave news? That frenzied cleaver from the rumours? Ain't it mourning some of our galaxy folks who went uh, out to me see it this morning? Ooh, lovely, I'm sure that's something I'm going to have to probably deal with, let's be honest. The medical corps had a hard time getting all the injured back on their feet. So it's something I'm going to have to deal with, let's be honest. Ah, uh, this is the cleaver that was reportedly struck by powerful lightning, yes? I'd hear he's been behaving most erratically since then. Still, if every investigation is over, the survey cult will of course step up to the task. A certain amount of danger is inevitable when re researching unfamiliar Pokemon, but I'm sure Sam can handle things just fine. Oh, of course it's me. It's always me. I certain I've heard cleavers so might even alpha Pokemon that compared to him. I've got this. I've got to. The story won't progress if I didn't do it. Now, now, you forget the strengths of Pokemon, key item of information that we have the survey core, yeah, duty bound to research. And since the perilous work of ours calls for a clear head and fighting fit physique, I do believe a good night's sleep is in order after this fine meal. It's goddamn me that has to deal with it. God damn it, man. <coughs> the next day. Good morning, Sam. Let me sleep, please. You should hurry to the commander's office, provided I decide to use you for sumo practice. Ooh, goddamn. Don't want that. Time to go to work. <coughs> really want to check this alpha Pokemon out. Just want like five minutes, please. There you are, let's hurry to the headquarters. Look who's been punctual. Finally realise you're wasting Almighty Sinner's precious time by bowing to a sham. <coughs> What's going on here? Who is that? There you go again, insisting on your false image of Almighty Sinner as a ruler of time. My people follow the true Almighty Sinner, the front of all creation and ruler of space. Ha! You could have all the space there is and still know what to do with it. <gasps> How dare he! Excuse me? Are you really suggesting that make better use of time than we make of vast history of space? <coughs> better than some, it's a miracle shoot up a time, almighty leader of the Pearl Clan. I worried you get lost in the pointless vast space you're so fond of and never show up. Me? Get lost? It's almighty sinner's great gift to the Pearl Clan in our world's very basis. <coughs> you wish. This seems like a really pointless argument. I wish I'd let myself get dragged to the argument wheel, almighty sinner forgive me. 
What a waste of time? Yep, that's what I'm saying. <coughs> I'm off to Commander Komodo, uh, Komodo's office. That's where I'm heading. I, mean, I believe it was you who started this. Guys, I just want to progress in a story. Can we stop arguing about rubbish? You can feel the tension when those two show up. You haven't met them, have you? The woman with the reverence for space is Irida, leader of the Pearl Clan. The man who's going on a, uh, on and about time, Adam and leads to the Diamond Clan. Oh, a Diamond and Pearl? It's gonna... It's gonna make me pick, isn't it? I'm gonna go with Diamond, I just like... Yalga? I think Yalga's the blue one. The Diamond Clan and the Pearl Clan grudgingly coexist at the moment. Apparently things used to be less peaceful. But the boss, I mean, the commander is waiting. We should save this conversation for after you report to him. We should, like, not have this conversation. I just want to play the goddamn game. Tip for this game, please less dialogue. There is so much dialogue and like, very little game playing this. I want, like, more battles. Little dialogue, more battles, and... Pretty much it. Less dialogue, please. Just too, way too much dialogue in this. Go upstairs, go see Commander Kamado or whatever it's called. What do you tend to do about Cleaver, Commander Kamado? You may be descended from a warrior of Almighty Sinnoh, but look at the mess he's causing. We can't sit back and let him rage on. You do get right to the point, Adaman. Time wasted is lost. Well, tell me what would you have us do? Cleaver is a precious lord of the Pearl Clan, is he not? Okay, so he belongs to their clan, okay. That's the point, my clan can't intervene directly where a lord of Pearl Clan's concerned. If my people were to do something, our two clans might end up back at each other's throats. Just like we used to be. So what they're going to do is send me in because I'm a middle point. Cheers. But even folk of the Galaxy team has been wounded, haven't they? Seems someone's got to do something here. Who then? Would the Diamond Clan, the Pearl Clan, bring down one of its own? Honoured nobles? I don't believe I said that though, it may be. You might as well have said it, you fool. Look, we don't even know what drove Lord Cleaver into such a violent frenzy. I'd like to know that myself. This is the first as far as my clan knows too. Hmm, I see you've arrived. Oh god. This is Sam, the newest member of our survey corps. He's the newest member and we're going to send him against a dangerous animal that no one else can take down. Hi, from me your uh, earned weirdest favour. Good to finally meet you, stranger from the rift. I am Adaman, leader of the Diamond Clan. If you want to be formal, but that's a mouthful, just call me Adaman. If you came from the other space time rift, could you uh, be from space where Almighty Sinu is set, uh, set to reside? I'm Erda, leader of the Pearl Clan. Caution and foresight are my watchwords. Which is why I have trouble believing such a tale. Could you really have passed through that rift? No. Just happened. <laughs> I have a proposition. Why not send this one to study Cleaver before I decide what I'm to done? You send a stranger who supposedly fell from the rift to study Cleaver? This newcomer with no experience? Oh, cheers. Already captured more than anyone here, but okay, I'm, 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 I'm the one with no experience, I get it. Say the leader with almost no experience. Oh, yeah, thank you, Adaman. We like Adaman. We're going with Adaman. Screw you, Rita. <laughs> Being a good leader is a matter of time. It's a matter of embracing history's vastness without fear. Well, then, there you have it. If how new you are doesn't matter, then let's give this kid a chance. I'm sold, Commander. Let's try this our way. Uh, try this your way. This should be fun. I'll get to see how good you galaxy folk really are with all your weird ways. Putting Pokemon on strange balls and what have you. That whole practice bothers me. Almighty Sinnoh made Hivasuri Vasa Pokemon live freely throughout. She is annoying. I'm definitely going with Dialga now. <laughs> We're going to stand alongside Pokemon and count ourselves above them. We don't use Pokeballs for a deal to control our Pokemon. Only so they can live together. Allow us to show you what we can do. Do I get to battle? It's your mission now, Sam. In order you to study Cleaver and help us find the truth of the situation, I accept. Just because I want to play and not talk anymore. Remember that you're a stranger who appeared one of the other sky above us. People are naturally suspicious. Suspicious. Wow, that's a new word I can't pronounce. Suspicious of your presence here. If you wish to fully accept and trust, you must work hard. Work yourself to the very bone. Frenzy of the Lord of the Woods. Can I go try my. God, more talk. Well, that's settled then. There's no time like the present. The Lord of the Woods Cleaver is descending from a Pokemon that was blessed with Almighty Sinner's own power. No other Pokemon you've yet encountered compared to, uh, can compare to this strength, be warned. God damn! Listen to me. The that's all I've done is listen. 
The Galaxy Expedition team has come to the Eastern region as a group of outsiders, some might even call us interlopers. You mustn't do anything to threaten our relations with the Diamond Clan and Pearl Clans, understand? Oh no, not someone else to talk to me. Join me downstairs, Sam, we'll go with the detail on the mission. Oh god, Game Freak. No more dialogue, please. This game is insane. It's literally like watching a like reading a movie rather than playing. Ah, good, you're already here. Oh my bleep. Professor Laventon, the briefing if you please. Yes, let's get right uh, let's get right to it. So Sam, I understand you've been requested to find the cause of Cleaver's frenzied state. But as you're aware by now, Cleaver is a mighty thing. Not invincible even. Does my audio even sync? Let me check. Ah, good, you're already here. Yeah, it synced. It's beautifully synced. The security Corps tried throwing Pokeballs at Cleaver when they were attacked, but I'm afraid they'd even come close to catching him. It seems he has far trickier opponent than even those aggressive speedster Pokemon that cannot be caught outside of battle once they're riled. I think... So he's saying I can't catch this Pokemon. I'd like to be perfectly clear on this point. This mission will put you in extreme danger. Do you believe you can handle it? Of course. Well, then let's go over the particular... The Diamond and Pearl Clans re uh, revere their nobles because they believe these Pokemon serve their almighty Sinnoh. They leave offerings to express their gratitude to these Pokemon in notifications they call Noble Seats. So perhaps a good starting point for our research could be to find out what sort of offerings they normally leave for this cleaver. What's this long stare down for? Sam, we need to speak with you. Oh my god, man. Listen, that rift in space time is that connects this world to a world of world. That world might be where Almighty Sinnoh itself resides. A true Almighty Sinnoh, that is. The one that rules over time. So if you fell through the space-time rift, that might mean you've travelled through time by Almighty Sinnoh's own power. Think of it, you must have just been swimming in its divine might. Well, I've got a favour to ask of you, oh, time traveller. Don't just study cute, Cleaver, quell its frenzy. Oh, bloody hell, don't ask for much. Well, you certainly caused a good time, young Anderman. We are just discussing our next steps with regard to this whole Cleaver situation. Oh, you must be the Galaxy Team Scholar I've heard about. Good to meet you, Mr. Professor. Share some of that knowledge with me sometime. <clears throat> now let me al elaborate a little. Those Pearl Clan types have a lot of respect for Cleaver. You heard his title, Lord of the Woods. I'm sure they'd rather get is uh, I'm sure they'd rather get this under control too. But it's hard for them to come right out and ask. So the guy team of all people for help. And the truth is, we in the Diamond Clan have a similar problem on our hands. A Pokemon dear to us off in the mountains has flown into the same type of frenzy as Cleaver. Now there's certainly bad blood between us and the Pearl Clan, but still, we've all got to share history, and that means I'll all to tackle our problems together. But there aren't any many capable of standing up to such powerful Pokemon. You're the best hope we've got. Or at least now admitting I'm the best, which I'm quite pleased with. You'll find Cleaver at Grand Tree Arena, that's in the very heart of the Heartwood. His warden is a boy named Liam. Heartwood Arena. It's got the word arena in it. We're definitely kicking some ass here. Liam is a brilliant charm, but he's also a bit, well, sometimes brilliance can be blinding, you know. He'll tell you about his beloved Cleaver, whether you wish him to or not. Oh, he's going to talk to me, whether I want him to or not. Great. Anyway, I'm sure you're up to the challenge, so we'll be counting on you. See you later. No more dialogue. No, no, no. But <laughs> he suddenly left quickly once he finished talking. I suppose he really values his time. Adam and Amir weren't, uh, weren't wrong. You know, if you're studying perhaps even Quirk Cleaver, you'd best start by visiting his abode. Our new heights camp should be a handy place sent out towards Grand Tree Arena. As you stop by the pastures too, you want to choose the best Pokemon spring. Wow, thank God that's over. Wow, I'm exhausted. Oh my god! Find yourself unable to pick up the materials we come across? A satchel always seemed full? If that sounds like you, it'd be wise to lend me your ear a moment and hear what I have to say. Okay, random guy. Free me some space. You can carry around even more in your satchel of yours if you learn the trick to packing things in. I can teach you if you like. What do you say? Teach me. I like your initiative. My cheat freeze a neat hundred poking coins or whatever currency is. Alright, poking dollars. Yes, please. It's only 100. You may space to keep more kind of items in your satchel. And that's all there is to it. See how much more you can fit in the packing things right If you want to be able to carry more things, there's more I could teach you what you say. No, we'll do it later. I don't think my bag's become even close to full yet. At times a single extra item can mean the difference between life or death, you know. Okay, well when you stop charging me so much for it, maybe I'll consider it. <coughs> life or death, I'm going to charge you lots of money for it. Right. 
just go over here. Let's quickly, before we set off on the quest, I'm, I'm going to see my alpha Pokemon. If I throw it out, it's a whole alpha. That's going to be amazing. How are things, my good friend Volo? It's the merchant guy. I said I hope you're putting that secret backstrike technique I taught you because of good use. I have some super potion here just for you. I think nothing of it. Having a survey car out and about staying Pokemon is great for business, you know. Supporting you now is actually investing in my own fortunes. Oh, what a guy. He's the only, like, cool guy around here. He doesn't talk long. He does battles which are cool and he gives me free stuff. And I must part. There are rings that are just calling to me. Thank you, Volo. What a guy. Height camps. Straight there. Finally get to see my uh, alpha Pokemon as long as there's no bleeding dialogue a second I load into this goddamn camp. Thank god. I want to see my Pokemon. So that is alpha. So what happens when I throw this guy out? Oh wow he's just immensely tall. That is amazing. I like that they kept the height. I love that. Can't complain. It's amazing. I uh, don't need any more Pokemon, I don't think, though. Let's go straight to where we need to be. That way. Go down this way. I think there's a path this way. Follow the path. Oh, wow, two minutes in leaks, right? Is that a reindeer? Come here. Oh, I did not mean to throw that. Have a Orenberry. Oh, there's no way you're aggressive. Oh, wow, very aggressive. Hopefully that works. Oh, wow, that was close. So he's like aggressive, but not at the same time. Stamp there. Number one for the Pokedex. Seen an, I'm going to pick some of these up for revives, and I've seen a few. Is that a Chimchar? That is a Chimchar. No, you didn't see nothing. I swear, I'm not here. Here, random orange berry out of the bush. You should go eat that. There's nothing suspicious about it at all. Yeah, yeah, it's fallen for the bit. Yeah. <laughs> what an idiot. He got out. I'm not here. Look, another su non suspicious orange berry. <laughs> As if you've fallen for it again. He's gonna get out again, isn't he? Oh my god. Oh, look, another non suspicious orange berry. <laughs> Fall for it again. You know you're starving. No, not hungry. I'm just gonna keep throwing them. You might as well just stay in the ball. No, man. What is that? Right, let's get these Capricorns up here anyway. More Stantlers here. I might as well try capture whatever is around. a few of them, divert their attention away from me, he spotted me and he is running away, smelly guy, at least I caught him, that's fine, any more around here, Stantler's down there, I've seen him, he's hiding from me, he's looking, but he doesn't expect this though, oh he does, he's, he's fully seen me. Oh, there's loads of you down here. Stop running. Here, yeah, I have an orange berry. No, what? You can't escape me. I've decided. Full, full, full rush. Oh no, he's attacking me. There, you attack me. Oh, meant for a Pokemon like that. Oh, Seven, welcome to stream. How are you doing? Come back. Oh. I'm gonna capture all of these while I'm here. Oh no, there's dear dudes. Where are you? Can I throw Orin Bay? Go on, get it. Yes. Tasty. Close then. Bang. Oh no, I threw a Pokemon at it. Maybe he's still a bit stunned for a Pokeball at him. Hopefully that works. 
Oh, that one. Can't complain. Happy with that. Results. Way more geodudes around here than I want them to be. I hate the geodudes in a minute. I should put a weasel on, actually. Definitely need to go put one of them on. Before he comes aggressive, look. He's thinking about it. Don't even do it. Nah, you've done it. You've only gone and got angry towards me. Leave me alone. No mean harm. Just here to capture literally everything on the planet. Oh, that's an alpha re uh, reindeer. Whatever it's called. It's an alpha one up there. If I throw a ball at the alpha one, if he'll catch it. I doubt it. But. Oh, that hit it. Nice. Well, I've seen I can evolve a few of my Pokemon, which I need to do from a Pokedex anyway. Get that. God damn, man. You guys do not like getting captured. I just run away. Let's get this tree. Oh, there's a Shinx down there. I get this uh, ore and the tree. Sleeping, I might as well. So you don't bother me later. Hopefully, it just straight up catches him. Yes. Get this. Right, let's cap uh, we can evolve. Yes, so we can get that done for the Pokedex. Got two of them to watch now. Whoa. I think maybe one more after that to evolve. So technically, I should really go and change what Pokemon I, I need. I do need a Buizel with me anyway. I'll keep one Luxio with me. Luxio. Keep one of them with me so I can, uh, well, in case I need an electric type. Can you skip the. Uh... You can't skip it, fair enough. I suppose it's done happen often. Oh, Starly as well, okay. Good stuff. I think that's got to be my last Starly I needed to evolve now, surely. I think there's some of that needed one more evolution to be finished. It's going to be all of them in it. There we go. Star Starevia? How do I even pronounce that? Right, let's have a quick look in here. So, got f nearly finished, but I need to catch more of them. That's definitely finished. So I need one more Starly to evolve. Shinx is completely done. Wormpull is completely done. Buizel is nowhere near done. Eevee nowhere near. Punita is nowhere near. Drifloon. I need to evolve a Drifloon. And then... Defeated with ghost type moves. So I need to kill other Drifloons with a ghost type move. Which I can do. God. A lot of these to do. Lots of them. It's fine. I can do a lot of them off, uh, off camera anyway. Something to do with, rather than progress in the story. Come back! <laughs> Go away, Geo dude. Cheer for berries. That alpha one's still there, I kinda just wanna run up and throw a ball at it. See what happens. It's still up there, I've seen it. Wait until weird here finds out capturing all his relatives. <laughs> Hold him hostage. Right, can I get up here at all? Just walk up this way. Does this work? Ah, oh, it didn't work. Oh, didn't mean to throw that. There'll be another way up. Let's go change my Pokemon first, and we'll go see if we can get up there. Oh. Can I get up that way? Because the Geodudes are so aggressive. Come on, surely I can get up here. Oh, I love that that works. Okay, it works in certain bits. Alright, let's see. Can I get close enough to this... Whatever it's called, Stantler. 
Where's it gone? <gasps> Sir, right. Okay. Will it take bait? It does. It takes bait. Oh no! Oh wow! Oh, strip nose. Get the booze and run. <laughs> I'll try again in a minute. Oh, we've got a citrus berry. Okay, I'll, I'll change my Pokemon. I'll come back and try one tomorrow. I think that it'll detect you once you're in range, which is a shame. I need to put the orange berry closer to myself as well. That was a, that was a mistake. I'll be interested to see if that works. It'd be quite funny. Just first Pokeball throw and capture it. That'd be amazing. Right, you. Give me what I need. I need... Do I need to evolve one of them? See what I need first. So... Shinx is done. I don't need another Shinx. I need to kill him with ground type, that's about it. Starly, I can take another Starly with me and I need some Weasel with me. Okay, that's about it though. Oh, no, I don't need a rest actually. So let's get rid of Drifloon we need. We'll keep we'll keep A Luxio on us because it's electric, different type. You don't need a BA. We'll keep the Alpha on us because I'm assuming he's just going to be stronger than anything else. Level, just one of these, take this with us. So that can evolve. And then a Weasel. Do I have a high level? Doesn't look like it. I think level four is the highest we can get. So okay, we'll take this one with us. And it can level up while I fight other stuff. Um, I think that's about it for that. So let's go give it one more try, catching this uh, thingy without fighting it. I don't think I can fight it. I'll try, I'll, I'll try a... I'll try one of these small Stantlers. And see if it's weak to anything I have that's high level. Oh, it's so much better for climbing stuff. Right, can you fight me, please? I need to uh, just quickly check some up. See if you're weak to anything I have. I might fight the alpha one. Okay, nothing from you. So we've got effectives, but nothing super effective. So if I do a flame wheel, will it? I'm assuming the alpha one will be high level as well, because he's a level 14. Yeah. Don't know if I'll, keep, I'll fight the alpha one. Yeah, the alpha one might be a struggle to fight. Okay, understood. We'll come back later for it. I reckon I'll get absolutely destroyed fighting it. These Geodudes need to bugger off. I got Buizel with me now. Once Buizel's a bit higher level, I'm gonna smack them all. This worked last time. Come on, there we go. I crouch because he's got <laughs> the biggest sense on him. See, like a sixth sense going on. It was scary. Well, that should be close enough for me to sit in the bush. Go on, take the bait. Nothing dodgy in the bush. Tough. He's level 42. Oh no, I fully smacked him with it. Did not mean to do that. Smacked him with it. If I wait here, surely he's not going to come up, right? See the antlers? Okay, he's gone, he's gone, he's gone. Go for the berry. No way that works. Okay, okay, run, run, run. That's actually sick. Oh, it runs away. Surely it can't see me from there. Have another berry, man. Nothing suspicious over here. If I capture a level 42. Might sit in the grass and see if we can spot me. Hopefully it can't. You ain't seen nothing. I wanna throw a berry there. I wanna try and get behind it. It's so scary being so close to this alpha poker like this. 
I should be behind it. Yes! I just need to keep doing that now. Hopefully that... Um, it's going to be very unlikely it does work. <laughs> I can't help it without even fighting it. I can evolve my Vestali. Oh, that feels good. That feels so good. That is amazing. Okay. I'm never fighting an Alpha. I'm just going to capture them with Ares. <laughs> I don't even have to fight them. I've got a level 42 on my team now. I don't think it'll appear me though, it's just a problem. It's a shame. Otherwise I could definitely use it. Okay. XP candy. Put it on my main. <laughs> Put it on anything else. My main deserves the best. That's what he's getting, the best. The best candy. I've got so much stuff here. Stardust. I think I have what else to give it a Can't believe that's happened. That is amazing. I want to go uh, put him apart so I can see how big it is. Let's stand as a sleep. Might as well get a free catch out of it. You're lucky I can't be more fighting, to be perfectly honest. I've thrown a. I'm sorry, there's a Pokeball at the bottom. Let's <laughs> run. Oh yeah, it's because I, I had one citrus berry. I still caught it, but I wasted a citrus berry diet. Right, let's go check my new alpha. And then I'll hit uh, go to bed and then we'll go to the objective because I've, I've delayed it a bit. Give me a rest. I should have rested till morning, actually. You, I need to rest till morning instead. Put me back to bed. Took me in again. That's perfect. Thank you. This doesn't look like morning, but I'll let you off for now. Might just be sunrise. I doubt it, but looks like it's getting dark. Wait, where's my... Where is it? No way. Do I not get it? I caught it, like, straight up. Where the hell's my stamp now? It's there. It was put somewhere else. That scared me. I don't need you now. So wait, do I, have I finished the Pokedex for that? Starly, 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 Starly. Yes! Another one done. I'm, I'm actually so like pleased with completing the Pokedex. It feels so good to actually have them caught. I think I've got Shinx to do, but I don't have any ground types at the minute. Right, let's have a look at this guy. So we've got... <laughs> that is so awesome! Whoa! <laughs> Wow, that is insane, I got two alphas. You don't look at me like that. You're, don't be mad because you got tricked. You got baited, so he's angry. And he's not gonna obey me yet, so uh, I'll keep him in, I'll keep him for health, like he can, he can tank damage. That's what we have him for for now. I definitely don't think he's gonna obey me. Let's ignore the Geodudes for now. Let's go to my objective. I'll capture one of anything I need and I'll capture the rest off camera. I want to play a little more story mode right now, a little more story. Feels good to have like a Pokemon done. Like I see Starlies now, I'm like... I'm sorry guys, that is another alpha. I'm so sorry. It must be done. I must try. I feel no greater sense of accomplishment than capturing an alpha without fighting it. Although technically I could fight this. I've got fire Pokemon. Can I attract it down there? Kind of hoping I can reach it from the grass. Oh, that is creepy how that walks. It's like a giant... Wait, I know it's a crab, but it walks like a spider. You gonna eat? No? There's grass down there. Maybe I can lure it. Go over there. Lure it more and more. Okay, that's not going to capture it, but we'll try it anyway. Yeah, it's looking for me now. It's not happy with me. Take the bait. Keep taking it. Like Stantler did. <laughs> Keep baiting the Barris X. Oh no, he's, he's so fast. Like, I don't want that sprinting towards me. I can't believe I've reached that. 
Oh, now he spotted me, okay. He's not happy with me. I understand, it's perfectly understandable. There we go, we go in the grass. Now we don't want to get caught down here, because it's going to be, it's going to, it's going to get bad really quick if he catches us. You need to bugger off, I'm going to quickly kill this thing. Quickly kill its child while it's not looking. <laughs> go on, kill it. That way it can't get in the way now and it won't go for the berries and hopefully... It... No, he's despawned, I thought he despawned. That springy mushroom out of that. Right, hello Parasect, you want to just, you want to fancy a bit of orange berry? Come on, it's right there. Hey, pay attention to the berries. Yes, yes, smell it. Come on, you know you want some. Now we lure it a bit closer this way. It gets angry so quickly. It's like, what the hell, man? Every time I eat the berry. <laughs> Then one more maybe here. No, I need you to turn your back to me. It'd be better for if I was in that patch of grass. Slurring this way. Come on, surely you can reach that. Slowly lure him away so I can reach the back of him. We do it again, we just keep going. You see me. Oh, do you know what? You're wasting my time. We absolutely burn him to a crisp. What level is he? Fair. This, this should be okay. We'll do a normal flame wheel. I don't think agility will do enough damage. And I don't think a strong would kill him. Yeah, that seems perfectly reasonable. Okay! Really hope this Pokeball catches him first try. <laughs> He's gonna melt Pokemon of like, Oh, I've got a uh, Stantler. I can throw out. Hopefully he tanks damage. Oh, lovely, he's getting angrier. That's just what I needed. An angrier crab. How's that? He's throwing a mushroom at me. That's alright, you can put him to sleep. I just want to capture you, to be perfectly honest. Three, imagine three alphas in one stream, just without even... Oh, I was going to say without fighting him, but technically I have nearly killed this thing. He's not going to get captured when he's this angry. Oh, there goes Quilaba. Fair enough. Now, I want to say he's not going to do much to Cricutune, but he's level 18. We'll try it anyway. If he gets, obviously, if I'm on my last Pokemon, I'll just retreat. Come on. This might be a struggle. He's getting, he gets angry every time I throw a ball at him. <laughs> Okay, Jude has gone down just like that. Damn. Go on, Stanley, you, you are tanking damage. If you go down, I've got the hook. I'll have to come back later. Come on, you're just a crab. You're oversized crab. Just get in the goddamn... Not crab. Yeah, crab. I don't even know what he's supposed to be. Grass crab. If I stand behind him while he's fighting and throw a ball that way... Did over half damage to stand there. Alright, oh, still first to the front. Mm. Yeah, this is uh it's not looking good. Alright, I might I might run. Right, I'm gonna hide I'm gonna run and hide in this grass and hopefully he doesn't see me. Hopefully. That's a very strong hopeful. He still knows, doesn't he? He still knows. He still does, he definitely still does. Oh, uh, quick, look at that orange berry. Oh my god. Go for the berry. Can I just throw one at him anyway? Like, just go behind him and just throw it. Ankle's broken, ankle's broken. Oh yeah, because he's angry, what am I doing? <laughs> We'll have to come back. I'm just gonna grab this while I'm here. Don't mind me. Alright, we're, we're leaving. Goodbye. Let me revive my Quilava. 
go. Might as well revive Stantler for a bit of damage. He can tank damage if we need him. Right, that's fine. We don't really want to get greedy anyway. We got we already caught two alpha Pokemon this uh, stream anyway. So we don't need to get greedy with it. Just take what we have. Let's just carry on with the story instead. Oh, what the hell is that? <laughs> Burn me. I'll catch one there. I've just spent loads of Pokeballs trying to catch that like, crab. I'll catch, I'll catch one of them later. Let's get the objective for now. It's this character, really mysterious, just stood here looking into the horizon. I'm gonna take this tree if you don't mind. Pearl member. Tree shaking and swaying. Oh, it's gonna be the Burmy Pokemon, yeah. That's a. Okay, and I said I wanted to carry on my story, but that is a goddamn Pikachu, like, I'm not gonna ignore it. Have the orange berry. Yes. Try, I'm definitely capturing this. I said Pikachu. There we go. Nice. First try. That's a Pikachu. I'm not gonna not catch it. Go kite light version of me? I reckon they're going to become a uh, pain to fill up in the Pokedex. They're just not going to spawn at all. Do do do. Groovy music. Lots of stuff. Ooh. Bidoof. Bidoof and Bibarrels everywhere. Don't need a Bibarrel. I need to evolve some Bidoofs anyway, I think. So there's no point catching one. Can do it later. That's a oddly big. Oh, it's, a, it's a goddamn alpha one. Another alpha. Might as well give it a go while I'm here. Might as well try get past. Throw that. It's gonna turn around, isn't he? Yep. Yes, that counts as there. Uh, hitting him in the back, which is good. Did not think that would catch him. So I ran away. No, 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 eat the berry, I'm not here. <laughs> Staring right at me. No, I threw that really close to me. You like that berry? Yeah, you see the berry? Go for the berry. Eat the berry. Ah, oh, damn it, man. I'm really bad at getting them in the back. That's three alphas in one stream. Every time I'm like, yeah, we'll just leave it, I end up catching one. I'll take the alphas. I'm gonna have the largest team ever. Or oh, way over normal height. Okay, there's a side up. You know, story first. We'll catch these after. Story first. I feel like I've deprived the stream of, uh, of the story a little bit here. I will get these as I'm going past. But I'm definitely, definitely gonna catch some more of these after I've done. Another Geodude rock over there, might as well go get that. And then run away from him. Not even gonna fight him, just gonna get him for the Pokedex. Hello. <laughs> Style Geodude. Let's run away. Run. Yeah, don't look at me like that. <laughs> Jesus. That's scary. Let's go this way. A lot of Pokemon around here, I'm going to have to catch another shaking tree over there. <gasps> oh, come on guys, I'm on a Cypher. I'm, I'm so sorry, I just, I'm discriminating awesome Pokemon as I'm trying to progress, but I really want a Cypher. That would be awesome. How do you get up here? Could do it this way. Go on, work. Oh, <laughs> so close. I'm actually going to get up here, I thought this was the way to go. E can I go this way? Yeah, I can. Okay, good. <gasps> I saw a worm bull climb a tree. That is awesome. There is a worm bull in the... That is insane. There's a worm bull in the tree. That is absolutely brilliant. Here you go up here. I'm ignoring the objective. Two seconds. There's a cipher right there. And I must. I want. Right, this guy's going to be aggressive. Can I really tell? 
You don't have big blades on your hand and not be aggressive. Yeah. Go for the berry. Please? Now want that smelly berry? Okay, I'll have to have one then. Cherry berry maybe. There's another one over there, okay. You're joking. So it's war you've asked for. <laughs> you will get in a Pokeball. That's how this is going down. You've got no choice now. You're weak. Get in the ball. Oop. Go. Get in it and stay in it. Didn't want it to be like this. First try. Oh, we've had some right luck today. All right, so I got my cipher. Let's, let's go do the story. Quickly heal Kulava. Bang. So, so this wood. I have space in it. Damn it, I should have let the satchel guy run my bag loads of times. Right, let's talk to, uh, I'm assuming this is Leon, how you pronounce it. I'm Leon of the Pearl Clan, the warden to Cleaver, Lord of the Woods. And you? I've already deduced that you've come here to meet Cleaver. I'm right, aren't I? Listen, kid. I will meet you, alright. God, of course I can see it so clearly. After all, the powerfully awesome Cleaver has become even more awesomely powerful. Perhaps that strange lightning the other day was Almighty Sinnoh's divine power. But whatever it was, it struck my lord and left him imbued with awesome might. So I must turn you away, even if it pains me. It's too dangerous for you to meet Cleaver right now. I'll do anything. <laughs> You flabbergasted. He's been scobsmacked. Oh, such earnest desire to meet Mike Cleaver. I have to admit, I'm struck by your passion. Well, well, I'm afraid your passion is not the real issue here. I've been told in no uncertain terms by Iridia that I am to let no one near Cleaver. I will fight you off myself, you insist. Oh, you don't want to do that. If you wish to avoid battle, withdraw now while you still can. I'll face the wrath of my Gumi. Gumi. I'm scared. I'm quaking. You don't realise I've turned you away for your own safety. How sad you are. Go Gumi and see if you can ooze some good sense over this foolish troublemaker. Your poor Gumi. I love the battle music in this game. Your poor, 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 poor Gumi. Please one tap it. Just for just for Kiwi to convict. Close enough. Gumi has a water type move. And he's used it twice. <sighs> Why does this Pokemon I assumed was plant based have a goddamn water move? Oh my god, Boise has done 14 already. We can definitely kick some Geodude ass there. Go on, Drifloon. Finish it off. Thank you. Did want Quilava to kill him, but Quilava can't do everything. The Breezer's on 15 now, Jesus. How can this be? I may have been defeated, but my point still stands. It's too dangerous to meet Cleaver. No, 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 we had the deal. The only welcome you get if you approach him is a flurry of devastating blows. Now let's simply try to make him an offering, a nice heaped helping of two his food of his favourite two favourite foods. Serve it with respect by his loyal warden. That's me, of course. It's usually enough to please him and soothe the prickliest of me the prickliest. <laughs> but even I, Cleaver's loyal warden, can't get close enough to give him an offering not uh, now. Not with the way Cleaver is rampaging and running amok. There's nothing that an outsider like you could like you can do. What is it? Can we stop calling me an outsider, please? The answers of Cleaver, weird there and they're Cohort drew an almighty sinner's own power to protect Pokemon and people alike, so it's said it's by their grace at our clan that any of us still lives in Vasirisui today. Iridia, what are you doing here? She's coming to tell you, tell you off. She doesn't stop talking this one, watch out. As you say, Cleaver's grown even stronger, but I'm afraid the strength possesses a problem for us. If he was indeed struck by that lightning, could the bolts have been sent by false sinner to the Diamond Clan bows to? Cleaver means so much to our clan that I'd hope we could bring the situation under control ourselves. Not throw our hands up and ask some outside of help. But we must save Cleaver from his frenzy every moment it continues, the danger grows. If more people and Pokemon are attacked, it will lead to conflict with both the Diamond Clan and the Galaxy team. Yeah, just let me deal with it. Just let me kick his ass. 
you stream from beyond the sky. Tell me, could galaxy people actually fix all this? Could an outsider actually find a world to quell our Lord's frenzy? I'll figure something out. Got progress to story all the time. Very well. Lane and I will gather the foods that please Cleave in hopes that we might be able to get close enough to make him a proper offering. As for you, find a way to quell his frenzy, even if you must research every corner of vast Hisui. Let it be. My phone's ringing again. Your arc phone is beeping. A mysterious power now enables you to return to base camp in an instant. A mysterious power. I can fast travel, thank god. I did not want to walk all that way again. Might go mess with a Geo dude no, now, for a little bit. Now I know my uh, weasel. Can definitely do it. Let's heal everything. There we go. Got some super potions on everyone. A cricket tune. Why not? Get that extra 3 HP in there and stun there. There we go. Uh, let's go. Let's go bully a Geo dude. I want to see if Weasel can absolutely like floor him. And I definitely want the cipher in my party now because ciphers are just cool. That uh, yeah, I couldn't believe that Wormpel in the tree though. That is somewhat new that I haven't seen, and I love that. That's great. Right, Psyduck, uh, Judians are not going to be around here, are they? The, to be fair, they're near base camp, so we might as well just teleport there. I need to go all the way over there. Uh, let me quickly go over here and attack a Geodude. And then I'll go back. But if you can get Alpha Geodudes, it'd be quite funny. There's always two spawning there, it's so strange. Not complaining, but. Can I take a one on one? I don't want to fight two. One down here. Right, let's see if I can bully a Geo dude. This is Zubat! Okay, that's something new. Need to capture one of them. Alright, Geo dude, what we. Aqua Jet. Okay, please one tap it. So funny. Oh, I'm going to have a fun time getting them on the Pokedex. My mage getting this. Are you also weak to water? No, not as much. Hopefully this doesn't kill you then I can capture you. Yes, perfect. Oh, I always nearly do that. If I ever come across a shiny and it'd be so careful what I press. Come on. Oh, I love that. Perfect. It's not, it's not even like a mage Pokemon, it's just satisfying. Alright, we're filling up that Pokedex. I think next time I'm going to stream or something, I should have a lot of it done. I might as well attack one of these with Drifloon, because I need to defeat these using ghost type moves. So hopefully they're weak to it, but. They are! That's... I didn't know that. That's good then. I can just keep doing this as well. And you've used it also. So at least it gives him a Pokedex. He's only drowsy though. He should be able to... There we go. He should not be asleep. This is a good few times I need to do it. There's a lot of Pokemon I'm going to have to do before the next stream. Well, I don't have to do them before the next stream, but I'll try and get them, uh, most of them out of the way on the Pokedex. Still some starter ones I need to get done, but now I've unlocked that new area, it should be a lot easier. Oh, I've got XP again. Double Aquilava, and there's some uh, Grit Dust. I love how uh, just fully levelling up Quilava. I should be maxed out, right? You should be maxed out now. Yeah, free, free on everything, he's maxed out. Let me just double check. Yeah, he's maxed out. <laughs> maxed him out. So he's, he's uh, obviously leveling me up, but he's as good as he can be, I think. 
Alright, I'm too lazy to walk the rest of that way, so let's just quickly... Go up here. Uh, let's talk to you. Good to see you, Sam. And how's your research into Cleaver going? Swimmingly, I expect. Oh, is that so? Now, that's quite the tidbit. So, so his favourite foods will normally make Cleaver quite agreeable, is that it? I need to move this over back at the laboratory. You should come along too, dear boy. That's all I caught. I feel like I was there longer. I was messing with Alpha Pokemon a lot of the time, to be fair. Can't wait to film a Pokedex. Like, it's going so well at the minute, which is really good. Okay, I should probably rank up as well. I think I have enough experience points to rank up. A few times, hopefully. So according to the information we were able to learn from uh, Iridan and Leon of the Pearl Clan, were... Where? Were? Were it's normal course of events that Frenzy Cleaver would be calmed by a nice serving of his favourite foods? I wonder, is it possible that two aromas or some other components of these foods might combine in a way that could not only calm Cleaver but draw him back to his, uh, from his friend? But by your own report, even Cleaver's warden, who looks after Cleaver and knows him well, cannot approach him in his current state. It would be a fool's gambit to get close enough to offer him food. Hmm, give me a moment if you would need, I, uh, if you would. I need some time to ponder on this. There ought to be something in my research that's going to help us. Epic learning montage. Do -do 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 Staring at the book covers. <laughs> Looking at more paper. Is that an Oshawa in the background? I've found it. It's not the Oshawa. He's, he's found it out. Reading book covers, he's got it. We'll simply have to throw the food. <laughs> All that for that. You've quite the arm for throwing things, haven't you, Sam? Uh, might I suggest you take clean his favourite food and throw them at the Pokemon. Makes sense. It's all coming together. We can use our skill in Pokeball crafting to shape Cleaver's beloved food into bowls, then throw them to achieve the same kind of effects, but from afar. A brilliant idea, if I do say so myself. As for what to call these yummy projectiles, well, how about tea time balls? <laughs> but something you find of a nice, relaxing afternoon tea, does it not? Why don't you simply call them Laverton balls, Professor? Okay, this is unnecessary dialogue again. Oh my, with that name, it sounds like I'm the one that being launched at our frenzied friend. Unnecessary, more dial. In any case, we can run the Pearl Clan to gather the necessary food stuff, correct? You should get back to your Grand Triona and let the Pearl Clan know our plan. If you're off to Grand Triona, best set out from the high scam, eh? Back over there. Travel all the way back. For that. <laughs> to talk to him. They love talking in this. May, that's May, one, that's May saying. My my, that Galaxy Hall is one fine building, even from the outside. The Galaxy's team certainly got themselves a grand headquarters, I'll give them that. I'm on the, I'm on the clock, can we? Oh yes, I, I came because I had some news that I thought you might be interested in. Better you actually see what's going on though, let's head to, what do you end up calling it? The Heights Camp? I'm going there anyway, so. Saves me some time, good, good. Glad we're not always wasting my time, everyone, cheers. Oh, Weird is back with Adam and or whatever his name is. Adam and I spoke to Weird Air about what's been going on. I told him how he's been trekking all over the field and seeking a way to quell Cleaver's frenzy. All this from someone who's not even part of our clan or the Pearl Clan. Just some wonder who fell from a rift in this world. And hearing that, well, you can see how he's responded by showing his face. I trust you appreciate it. Weird has found you worthy, you see, which means you'll need a flute like we have. Mind demonstrating for him, mate? It's very important to listen well. Okay. Oh yes, he, he does like the sound of that flute. That's a Celestica flute that May just played. It's a precious tool that can be used to call on Weird Ear so you can ride upon him. Oh, we're gonna let me ride Weird Ear. Don't have to walk anymore, it said the Celestial flute. Uh, Celestica flutes were a gift from Almighty Sinner itself, and now this one's yours. Let's go! Yes, I get weird here. It's not that kind of gesture, really. I can't play the flute for the life of me. See if you can play that melody. Oh, yeah, I'm a solid expert at the flute, coincidentally. Because I need it to be. Exactly perfect. Oh, God. 
Where do you open its heart and learn where the sound of your playing? Yeah, you will do my bidding now. We're gonna travel everywhere. What the hell is that? You received the mind plate from where do you? Mind plate, a stone tablet imbued with the essence of psychic energy. When using a certain Pokemon, it allows that Pokemon to gain power of the psychic type. Pretty sure Driftblim, or where it's called, is psychic. Oh, I forgot to read dialogue. Skip it. With Wither, you can gallop across the field lands in no time. I missed like two bits of dialogue there, my bad. You can now call Wither and gallop across the land. Yes! Press button. Perfect. Let's quickly. So you are. Ghost and flying, not psychic. Oh, yes! That is brilliant. No more walking for me. Should be a lot faster now. That crab's still down there. I'll try it later. Just gonna carry on with this. The only way to get over there is that. That's quite annoying actually. But what's that flying? We'll have a look there. Let's go to my objective first. He's back! I caught one already! What? I don't need a catching over, I guess. Okay, so Alpha Pokemon just respawn, okay. That's fine. So I don't need to worry about catching them, which is good. They respawn apparently. Oh, I'm gonna drown. That was close. Drown if I'm in water. Oh no. And here we are. I start to lay in again. Howdy. What has he got to say? So you said that your uh, so you, oh god damn so you said that you galaxy people come up with a method to try the quell lord to cleave as frenzy. I have, I believe it's called tea time balls. But what <laughs> you'll mash up cleave favourite foods into balls you can throw things at him, yeah. <laughs> well, that's quite an orthodox approach. Your galaxy people, you invested uh, inventiveness just blows me away. Yes, because it's very inventive, mushing up food and throwing at him. It's his favourite food as well. I mean, now you can make offerings to Lord Cleaver from a safe distance. I lend you my aid if it means we might provide Cleaver with his offerings. Let's begin at once. Hold on, Leon. Don't get ahead of yourself, Irida. Oh, God damn, Irida's back again. She's always she's always when she doesn't need to be. Whatever the plan is, you'll need Cleaver's favourite plump beans. I brought them. That's promised. God, that's right. My apologies, Irida. I've forgotten all about you. Don't blame him. I admit, as we haven't been able to solve this ourselves, we seem uh, to have little choice but to turn to Galaxy Team. But even I still have my doubts about whether we should entrust such a thing to an outsider. Uh, these people need to respect me. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go rampage with my qu Quillara. These Galaxy Team people don't share our customs or our values, so prove to me you're worth standing in presence of our. Oh yes, you are dead. You're about about ordering about the Pokemon you've caught in your little Pokeballs, but on my side, of Pokemon's close to me as a sister, as one of my blood. If you can beat Gla if you can beat Glacian and me, I will trust you with Glacian's fate. Will you battle us? Yes. You need to be. What's it? What's the word called? Humbled. You need to be humbled. Ah, oh, I've been dying to do this. That Glacian's going bye bye. Yes. Flame wheel it. Kill it. <laughs> <laughs> nice, Irida. Nice! Good job! Good fight! <laughs> oh my god, that's funny. I see now Pokemon's are simply your tools of choice, not products of disregard for Pokemon. Yeah, you got spat on! You still understand the Pokemon that you've caught and treat them as partners. I feel better putting my trust in you now. I think, let me see all your, uh, see your Pokemon. Pokemon's wounds! You didn't touch me! You didn't even move! I explained the Galaxy Team's plan. What do you mean to do with these foods? Throw it at his face? That is, that's what I'm doing with the food. So because you have to keep your distance, you'll mash Cleaver's favourite foods together, ball them up and try to quell his frenzy by throwing them at him. Pretty much. Interesting, so you've developed soothing balms of sorts to calm our lord. Very well, if it helps soothe Cleaver's frenzy, it makes these balms with our very hearts and souls. Let's do it, let's get done. Oh wow, we made lots of them pretty fast. There, a veritable amount of balms, please Cleaver if anything can. 
Now then, ready yourself, and I will summon our mighty cleaver, Lord of the Woods. I'm ready. Let's kick some butt. Let's do it. As am I. Let me check some up. Ooh, give me a sec. There we go. Almighty Cleaver, Lord of the Woods, though it isn't yet the time of ceremony, we've prepared an offering of your favourite things. Benevolent Lord who works with his might between the heavens and earth, we offer our gratitude and beseech you, reveal yourself to our eyes. Listen well, Sam, keep your focus on Cleaver. Dodging will be vital. Try to avoid his moves as you're throwing the bombs. Oh, it's going to be easy. It's going to be like a, just a normal Pokemon, just, just avoiding it, like dodging. Shouldn't be too bad. Oh no, I'm on out. I'm back it. Oh yeah, I'm definitely backing out. You want me to dodge that? <laughs> I'm gonna die. The crazy. He's got axes as hands. Oh lovely, I can't wait. Sent me for death here. What am I doing? Food, food him. So no fucking quest friend you have to throw a bomb then to defend your god reach zero. Great idea. If you manage to create an opening in noble defense, you'll be able to send out Pokemon to battle against it. Within the Pokemon battle, the guy will stay down for a brief time, do that window bombs when you are effective than usual, so throw as many as you can. Take food! Yeah! Okay, okay, it's not too hard to predict, thankfully. From magic food at it. Yeah, you like that? Oh, that's so scary. Yeah, have some rice. What's this? What's this move? We'll just stay out of the wind. Okay, it's not too bad. God, that is so scary. It runs towards you like that. I was worried I did that a bit too early then. Go to a lava. Oh, we come out of frenzy already. What? I wanted to battle it. This is not even touching him. What are you doing? What does that mean? Knock that off. Right, this one's not too bad now. I think I'm getting used to it. Can I fight with a Pokemon? Yeah, that'd be pretty cool. Yes! Go on, Quilava. Yes, we get to battle it. Oh my god. I'm so sorry, Quilava. <laughs> Rollout's effective. Strong style it. What level is he? I didn't even see his level. Maybe I shouldn't have strong styled it. 18. Okay, one more of them should be fine if I can survive these two attacks. Been nice knowing you. Cheers for battle. <laughs> right, what can hurt him? Super effective water. Go on, Breezel. You got this. Aqua Jet. Yes, Breezel. More bombs. Go on, it's nearly there. Ah, oh, pressed the wrong button. Well, I think I did it. I pressed the wrong button to dodge, but I did it anyway. Yeah, kill it with a bag of rice. Wow. <laughs> that is scary. That is sick though. It's scary though, Jesus. But that's why it's not it looks like normally. I want that. Where do I catch one of them? I want one of them to catch. That's awesome. It's got accident. You received the insect plate from Cleaver. Stones have immune with the essence of bugs when used to a on a certain Pokemon, it allows that Pokemon to gain the power of the bug type. I think you can give it to any Pokemon and they get that power, that's pretty cool. Well, what happened? Some kind of light erupted from Cleaver's body. Has Lord Cleaver's frenzy mind truly been put at ease now? Does this confirm that Strange Light was to blame for Cleaver's unnatural power? Maybe. Well, I'm not a scientist, that's what I have to profess for. But this is what I think after all we've seen. 
We know how strange lightning came from out of the space time if the other night. Those bolts must have struck Cleaver and driven him into his frenzy after all. The lightning came from the space time rift. But if Almighty Sinnoh really does dwell beyond the space time rift, then the strange lightning indeed was Almighty Sinnoh's power. Then we're even right to try to interfere. I happily went along with this plan to create some bonds if I knew what I was doing, like some kind of thoughtless fool. Outrageous. Calm yourself, Leon. Remember that the Lord of Us has long been our protector, keeping the Pearl Clan safe from dangerous Pokemon that might harm us. Would power sent out by the true Almighty Sinnoh have driven Cleaver to turn on us and attack? People and uh, Pokemon indiscriminately? I doubt it. What Sam accomplished just now indeed needed to be done. I like we can settle this without further strife with the Diamond Clan or the Galaxy team. If you come across other Pokemon in the grip of this painful uh, frenzy, please help them. Oh god, there's going to be more. <laughs> yes, fine, I suppose. I must concur. I apologise I apologize for becoming briefly incomposed. I'm grateful for what you've done for my lord. Please take these on behalf of the Pearl Clan. Consider it my apology for having spoken uh, rudely to you earlier and a token of my thanks. Good, good, good. What are we getting? Three citrus. You could have kept them. Pick that off the tree. Let me care for your program as well for appreciation for fighting on our behalf. I think I finally come to believe that you truly did fall out of the sky. For I still cannot imagine the reasons at play. And it seems you settle things here, though between you and me, I won't mind seeing Lord Cleaver in such a frenzy again. He was fearfully strong after all. Oh, you just want you dealing with him, was it? Right, report the camera camera. Yes. Go back. So we need to go back to yes here. Oop, didn't want to pin it. So like, and I, I like the Pokemon we've got now and the level there. I think I can comfortably do the next uh, part of the Pokedex. Jubilee Village. So we'll finish this quest and I will have a look at like some Pokedex stuff to do. I'll probably end the stream as well after we've done this quest. Quite a big quest. I saw the light fading in the sky. You must have quelled the Lord Pokemon. And what do you have there? Could it be? Are those two of uh, the fabled plates of all? Please let me have a look. One well, of them coloured plates. It says some letters carved in it. Let's see. This one says, Where all the creation was born, that is the beginning place of origin. It seems to be afraid from a very old myth. How did you come across these? The big Pokemon that Scary gave me them. I see. You were given the plates when you were impressed Weirdo and Cleaver. Yeah. That's quite something indeed. My heart is practically racing with excitement. It's my guess that you find more plates uh, like those scattered across the sewer. If we were to gather them all and decipher the scripts on them, we may uncover something absolutely amazing. The mysteries of the past. Oh, how they tickle my curios curiosity. What a joy to be alive at such times. Well, I must be on my way. Until next time. Let's go report my findings to the commander. Up we go. Hello. Hmm, well done. I've already received the reports of your exploits. You successfully quelled Cleaver's frenzy, restoring peace of mind to his his people. You are strangers to us, one who fell out the very sky, yet you have served the galaxy team admirably. I admit you have earned yourself some degree of recognition, but things are not settled yet. I received word that there are other Pokemon nobles falling prey to such frenzies elsewhere in history. Oh good, I can't wait to have to deal with them. So carry on with your research and survey duties and prove that you're truly an asset to us. That is all, you are dismissed. Your fellow survey court members are likely, to, uh, likely at Wallflower. Go and join them. Completed. Done. That is that mission out of the way. Very old chum, the usual order. Three terms of potato mocky, please. And if there's something else that you'd recommend, by all means, bring it, bring it out. The whole village is gossiping up about Stormo, your friend here, you know. He's got quite some luck to come back unarmed after facing off against that cleaver. I dare say, Sam, that uh, was well impressed. And he was quick study out of cleaver moved in battle from what I heard. All in all, it was a very good show. A victory well earned. We can feel safer going through uh, going about our survey call duties now. Thanks for your effort. Oh, by the way, why not try crafting some of these? I made a recipe based on directions Benny gave me. Smoke bombs? Ooh, I want to make some of them. Lovely. And now we need not to worry about being mauled by Cleaver either. Let's take our chance to study all the Pokemon that call the Obsidian Fieldlands their home. It's perfect. I'm going to go capture them all then. 
So if that's all explored now, I should be able to capture all the Pokemon there now. It should be all of them. I've been waiting for you, Sam. My name's Vessa. There's something really important I need to tell you. Would you come with me? What the hell's going on? What is this? I already pulled aside by ch and it's kind of a secret, but something terrible has happened. This series in a whole lot of danger. Hundreds of years ago, uh, a being that brought calamity to this region was sealed away by someone using the power of strange magic. But now for some unknown reason, the magic has come undone and the seal is broken. Oh god. I, t I hate to think what might happen at this rate, so please Sam, hear me out. I need you to restore the broken seal. Just tell me what to do. I believe it, it's gotta be, it's Pokemon, it's magic. It's, it's all sorts. Oh thank you, I fell for them sky, I forgot to say. Oh thank you, I'm so happy you believe it, I just knew you'd be willing to help. The odd keystone is for you, keep it safe. You obtained an odd keystone. Which do something that can give you just with purple lights. After the seal was broken, a whole bunch of wisps scattered across this area. 107 of them in total. With the odd keystone I gave you, you'll be able to gather them all. See, the wisps are normally invisible, but not to the older of the, of the odd keystone. I know it's a huge task, but please, you just have to gather all the wisps for me. There's one real close to where we are now. How about you start with that one? See that flame hovering over there? Try touching it. It's very strange. There's definitely like a reason this is not a side quest and you've been forced to do this. Look, there's got to be some nice reward for touching these wisps. <laughs> the wisp has been absorbed into the odd keystone, just as it should have been. Thank goodness I picked you to help me with this. Come talk to me if you have any help for, uh, finding the remaining wisps. And one last thing, as you gather more and more wisps, I'll give you some rewards and thanks. Okay. I'll wait for you while you carry out your research. Good luck. So I've been forced into a side quest. <laughs> Cheers for that. That should be... Oh god. Like, the story does not give you a break. What's next here? Whoa, the Galaxy Team address are really, dare, uh, dare I say, cutting edge. Oh hey, you're Sam, the boy you quill cleaver, aren't you? That's me. <laughs> I knew, you've got quite the reputation, you know. I mean, you quilled one of uh, Almighty Sinnoh's chosen ones. Some people actually kind of scared of you for doing some, something so bold. Yes, they should fear me. <laughs> I... I it, by the way. Can, can In the next Pokemon game, can we have some like nicer names to read, please? I'm Ward of the Diamond Clan. My special skill is giving haircuts. Real nice to meet you. I could do for some hair dye, to be honest. Oh, Snip, but I came in to talk to you, uh, Mr. Komodo. 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 Oh, I want a haircut, though. Like, I don't want to do a quest for it. I just want a haircut. Gallows found scattered in the corner of his region. I don't want to do that. Can I just get a haircut? Hairstyling, yes, I can get a haircut. I don't have to do the quest yet. Haircut. And I'll do the quest in another stream. Go on and have yourself a seat. I'll put your things aside for you. Let's go. Please let me change my hair colour. Don't just be blonde or anything like that. Colour. Really? That's the closest I'm getting to ginger. Well that sucks, we'll go with it anyway, it's close I'm going to get. <laughs> what? Alright, I'm going to go based off... Because I don't like any of these. If I was living in that time, I'd probably want the braids, I'm not even going to lie. Like straight up, if I was living in that time, this is the hairstyle I'd want. I'm going with it, like honestly. I, d I don't even have my hair colour I want. I changed my eyebrows, right? We'll have a matching. Here we go. I'm going with the goddamn braids, better than the original hair I had anyway. Adds a bit of style, a little bit of spice. <laughs> that way. Yeah, I'd probably, I'd probably go with that. If that's the only like cool haircut available, 
No, I leave my hat off. God damn, I don't want a goddamn hat. I don't like the hat. It's got a fresh trim. Put a hat on? No. Keep the braids out. Come back anytime, dear. Nice. Right. Right here, that is going to be it for, for today's stream. I'm going to have to edit this and make it into one long video and then I'm going to have to make the shorter versions. But that is going to be it for today's stream. If you want to watch the stream back and you've, uh, and you want, and you've seen this now, uh, go into... You won't see it on the channel, but if you go into the playlist and go to live streams, it'll be on there. It's just unlisted, it's just to keep the channel a little bit tidier. So if you want to watch this whole thing back, it's going to be in there um, at any point. But um, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm going to awkwardly plug the HDMI back in and <laughs> to be able to end the stream. I'll be a moment. Oh, I'm stuck. Taking this off. Give me a moment. Let me quickly save it. Yeah, if you uh, like the video or stream, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you're new to the channel. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.